By the end of this video, you'll know how to do an exposure pull using keyframes in Filmora 10. Keep watching. Hey guys, it's Johnny from Wondershare Filmora Pro- Wait a minute. Hey everyone, it's Johnny from Wondershare Filmora, here to empower your inner video creator. Have you ever wanted the overall brightness of your shot to change over time? Maybe you want a lightning effect. Maybe you want your shot to suddenly get dark and sinister. And hey, it's 2020, anything's possible. Maybe a comet will crash down on the earth and obliterate us all. No, no! Or maybe you want to pull off something a little more subtle. Whatever your reason, today we're going to be taking a look at how to pull off these exposure pulls. One of Filmora 10's new features is keyframing. This is a really powerful feature which allows you to custom animate the scale, position, and opacity of your clips. If you're not familiar with how keyframing works in Filmora 10, I highly recommend you take a look at our recent video about it up here or in the link in the description. Today we're going to be using these keyframes to pull off our exposure pulls. Let's start with an example of brightening up our footage to reproduce the effect of lightning or a camera flash. So here we have our clip on the timeline, and we want to animate our exposure to make things brighter at certain times. In our media panel in the top left, let's look for the sidebar item called sample colors. Let's find the white color and drag it onto the track above our footage. Let's also extend it to cover the entire length of our clip. Next, let's double click on this white clip, and in the video settings, set the blending mode to overlay. What we'll be doing next is keyframing the opacity of this white clip. Let's go up to the Animation tab and click the Customize tab underneath. Now if we play with the opacity setting, we'll notice that the exposure of the image will change. I'm going to find where I want to start my animation and set my opacity to zero to bring our clip back down to normal exposure. This should create a keyframe on our timeline. We want our exposure to flash brightly pretty quickly, so let's only move one frame forward on the timeline. Next, let's adjust the opacity slider up until the image is sufficiently bright. This will create a new keyframe. Finally, let's make the bright light fall off slower than it came in. To do that, let's move about six frames forward and drag our opacity slider down to zero. We can move forward and repeat this process several more times if we want multiple flashes of light. And this is what we should end up with. Now, let's say that we want to gradually lower the exposure of a clip in Filmora. For this example, we'll make this clip look like it's gradually getting darker. This is similar to how we made things brighter in the last example, except this time we're going to grab the black color instead of the white one and place it on the track above our clip. Next, like before, let's double click the black clip and change its blending mode to overlay. Now you'll see that if we play with the opacity of this clip, it will affect how dark the clip underneath is. Let's go to the animation tab and make sure that we're also in the customize tab underneath. Let's go near the start of the clip and we'll set our opacity to zero. Next, let's move forward about a second later on the timeline and then drag our opacity up until our clip is sufficiently dark. And there you go, the clip is getting realistically darker. So, that was a look at how to keyframe your exposure in Filmora 10. Are there any ways you think you'll use these techniques? Or anything else you want to learn about keyframing in Filmora 10? Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe and keep creating!